Hi everyone and welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 2. In this video we are going to be syncing the memory judge, jury and executioner. And we will be starting it by walking in here to the Resicolta. You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Judge, jury, executioner. Visit the art show at Santa Croce. Find Uberto and exact revenge. So here we go, and we're going to start by running up these things. Three running. Best to get rid of guards. But they do come back, so it doesn't help a hundred percent. But it's still best to get rid of them. Well I think it is anyway. We'll climb up here. Again with this. You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Follow Uberto without being detected. Okay. So. We're going to wait until this group passes by us. And hopefully we're going to walk right amongst them. Now this will not get us in, but this will get us to where we need to go. That will take us that way and then we walk calmly the next group of people, people in Joshua. Yeah. Spotted them for a minute, you but no. A I'll just keep walking with these guys. You see those two great brutes there, we, which are highlighted there. Those are the people, that's where we need to go. But we're not going to go the direct route like that. But if we come around this corner, we will find some courtesans which we can hire. When we hire courtesans, they become a blend for us. So we're going to blend. And we're going to keep walking. Now those guards, you see, will go and look at the courtesans. Not worried about me. 
And we're gonna stand here and wait. And just... To you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditore family. To think I once thought of Giovanni as <laughs> Don't blame yourself. How could you have known what he was? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. You! You would have done the same. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The auditorium are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! We can read this now. This document is meant to serve the record of all I've learned over the past few weeks. In the event that I am silenced and prevented from sharing it with you myself, understand first that the Duke of Milan's murder was no political manoeuvre. Rather, it is but a piece of conspiracy that reaches far beyond Firenze, counting members in Roma, Venezia and Forli, to name but a few cities. Attached to this note is a list, or rather the start of one, of those I know to be guilty. Its contents are by no means complete, but I intend to rectify that shortly. I can, however, say with certainty that the Pazzi family is involved. We must move quickly to question Francesco before he buys his freedom from prison. Doing so will surely add more names to the list. I already have my suspicions as to who these men are, given that their deeds bear all the hallmarks of an old enemy. I fear they... The note abruptly ends here. Giovanni must have had to stop and hide it when the guards showed up to arrest him. My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labelled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we own, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money, land, and title in exchange for my collaboration. And so this is how I came to betray my closest friend. However unspeakable the act, it seemed necessary at the time. And even now, looking back, I see no other way. And to hear more about Umberto Albertini, Al Umberto Alberti, we can just have a quick look. Oh, no. It's in the target. There is. Uberto Alberti, trusted friend of the Auditore family. According to the history books, this guy was a saint. He prosecuted murderers, rapists, the worst criminals. One of the best lawyers in Italy, he won every case, in spite of the fact that he was self-taught. Now, I found a back door into the Templar's database server. I've been combing it for some kind of smoking gun. I found it. Apparently, Uberto's family was evicted by the Medici Bank. Uberto's been aching for revenge ever since. And the Templars promised him support. Ezio's father was standing in the way, and Uberto was jealous of his influence over the Florentine government. Two birds with one stone, isn't it? It looks like Uberto used his election to the Signoria as his opportunity to strike. So a little background there on Uberto Alberti, who is now no more. Now as soon as we claim this, the guards are going to try and get us and we're going to have to get out of here and fast. Oh. 
And the best way again is to go high. And then as we run to here, we can jump in the water. Jumping in the water tends to normally do it for us. And there it is. Judge, jury, executioner, synced. We've read the letter from Alberto and we've seen the conspiracy documents. So that's all good. Before we finish this video though, what we're going to do is we are going to sink this viewpoint because it's just over here for us so we should do that we need to bear in mind all of this that you're still a wanted man so we need to get up high as quickly as possible and there we go And here we are, let's sink this point. That's seven of 73 sink points. Okay. So we're gonna go back up though, again. And this time, we're going to head back. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's the um, here. It's one of those chests I was talking about earlier, but we're going to look at all of them together later on. Before we can do that, we're going to keep walking along this way. Heading our way back to the Rosa. Ooh. Heading our way back to the Rosa um, Coulter, which isn't far away from here. Well, it does say dwarf and call me Donna. You're not allowed up here. Leave. Don't say much else, really, to be honest. And we are back at the Rosa Culto, and that's where we're going to end our video for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and like. Um, um, hope you'll join us for the next time. Until then, requiescat in pace.